Hey, Frank, take a look at these pants. Look at that. You know how that happened? <laughs> Sliding into home. <laughs> Slide, say head first into home. <laughs> Frank, it's a pleasure to meet you. You're one of those guys that make it worth whatever price you have to pay to get into the ballpark it's to just to see you do your job. It's, it's an unbelievable thing that you do, and congratulations on all your success. But you get nowhere to go now, do you? <laughs> what, are you what are you doing during the strike? Well, right now, I'm feeling really unemployed, but uh, you know, I'm playing with my kids. Well, that's uh, good. You get some time with your kids. That's right. Everything. You know, it's wonderful to do that all the time because uh, most of the time, this is the first time I've had off in maybe mm -hmm. six, seven years. And is, what's going to happen? Is the season over now? Uh, there's a possibility. Hopefully, uh, we can get something straightened out within the next week and a half, I hope. And are you in there? Are you busy on the phone day and night making calls? Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, where, and where do you stand? Are you, I mean, obviously, you have to put up a united front with the players, but, and I guess, as I understand it, the issue is the, the owners want a salary cap, and you guys feel that that would restrict your right to free trade. Is that what it is? Exactly. Uh, it's a very frustrating situation for a lot of people. Uh, you know, this has been called the most exciting season in the last 40 years. You've got a lot of guys chasing records, and, you know, like I said, it's, it's pretty disappointing for the fans, and it's pretty disappointing for the ballplayers also. Yeah. How many dingers you got? Right oh, now. man, I love that kind of talk. <laughs> how many... How many Right now, 38. Whoa, man, that's great. That's very exciting. Now, when... You. you know, I went, to, I went to college with a guy who had extra dingers. But uh, anytime we have, when, like we had Barry Bonds on a few months ago, and anytime we have a great hitter on, on the show, I always ask this question because from Little League on, I never understood fully. When you're swinging at a ball, is the object to swing the bat as hard as you can or just to make contact? What's the best way to hit a home run? How do you hit? How do you approach every pitch? It depends what type of hitter you want to be. With I want to be like uh... you, Frank. I want to be like you. <laughs> I want to be the big hurt, buddy. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to hit the ball through the middle, so I'm trying to make a lot of contact. Just make uh, contact. Most guys my size will be trying to hit the ball at the ballpark every time. Uh, yeah. You know, that's why I've had some success that uh, many people said uh, a big guy my size couldn't do. Yeah. Now, uh, again, because when we used to see tape of Reggie Jackson, it looked like he was swinging as hard as he could at every pitch. But that's not necessarily what you do. Is that what you're saying? Not at all. Not at all. Just make contact. Technique. All right. Now, let's get, you're talking about a guy your size. How, what is your size? 6'5", 27. Wow. Man. That's about what I am. <laughs> and what is Cecil Fielder for the Tigers? Uh, I would say probably 6'3", 275. Man, you guys, you, this is some beef you guys got going here. <laughs> uh, what about uh, Albert Bell, Cleveland Indians, the corked bat? You ever, you ever do that? I've uh, never corked my bat before. Uh, what, what's the theory behind corking a bat? Uh, someone says it's going to give you more distance. Uh, it's been argued a lot by different people. I, uh, you know, I'm interested in trying it now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, you know, so, so much was made out of it. Uh, I've known Albert for a while. He's a good friend of mine. And, you know, uh, I think Do you think he actually right did now. it or somebody set him up? Uh, I think he did it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's not going to change the type of hitter he is. I mean, he's been a great hitter from college. I've played with him since college. What's the longest ball you've hit, do you think? They can't measure them precisely, but you... you... I think at the All-Star game this year, 519. Man, 519 feet. That's mighty impressive. <laughs> You know, some you could do me a big favor. Whenever you guys start playing again, whether it's this season or next season, I'd like to see you take a couple of swings in this suit right here. <laughs> uh, speaking of taking some swings, we're going to demonstrate this powerful swing you have when we come back right after this commercial, folks. We'll be here. Come on back. I'll, I'll load you up, and then you take a couple of swings. And okay. if you want to vary it, show me what we're talking about, how you make contact, how you increase the speed. It's all, it's all about bat speed, isn't okay. it? Exactly. Okay. By the way, Gallagher will be out in a couple of minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Here you go, Frank. A drum roll, Anton. Get ready, ladies and gentlemen. Heard it, Frank. Heard it. Here we go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes. And moving up now to a grapefruit. Here we go. There's a slow motion into the replay. Here we go. It's a grapefruit, Frank. Frank, the big hurt. Gonna hurt some produce. Here we go. It's down and away! Okay. Oh boy, now. 
Moving into the melons now. And a boy. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, man. Let's see that one again. Look at this, Frank. Oh, he got all of that one. Frank, it was a pleasure to meet you. Have a great rest of the season if you ever play again. Frank Thomas, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, everybody.